and welcome back to another video guys. Today we're taking a look at the PRS CE24 SE. So this is a made in Indonesia bolt-on PRS guitar that was released roughly last week I believe. And essentially what we're going to be doing today is a tone test as well as an action uh, check to make sure that it's you know not super crazy high or low. And, uh, and then we'll be also checking the uh, if there's any fret buzz. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into um, the action test first. So I have a Music Nomad ruler here. We will check, um, I always do my measurements based off of metric. If you want Imperial, um, I will also flip it over to that. But just for me in general, I typically do metric. Okay, so we cable the first fret. Okay, now we take the ruler and we check at the 12th fret. So low E is about 1.25, I'm sorry, 1.5, my apologies. Yep, 1.5. And high E is, let's say also 1.5, let me double check that just to make sure. One point, yeah, 1 yeah, 1.5 on low E and 1.5 on high E. Okay, so that puts it at about a low medium on low E and about a medium on high E. Okay, for our uh, imperial measurements, we have a 0 0.07 on low E, and it looks more like a point, get a better angle on that, yeah, about a 0 0.06 on the high E. So that would put me at a roughly medium and a, a low medium, just like we did for the metric uh, measurements. Now we're gonna go ahead and test every single fret for fret buzz. I'm gonna speed through this part on the in the magic of video editing, but I will track every single fret um, on a spreadsheet custom that I made to tell me where there's fret buzz, and then we'll see uh, whether or not it would be something to worry about. Uh, if a note does buzz, I'm gonna play it a couple more times just to make sure it wasn't like a fluke, maybe my finger wasn't pressing right, or maybe I picked too hard. That can't happen. Now we've checked the action, we've seen if it buzzes, which it does indeed buzz, so if that's something that deters you, of course this wouldn't be the guitar for you. But let's go ahead and do a, a tone test. I'm gonna do a couple of open chords with the clean setting. We're gonna start at the bridge, full volume, full tone, no coil tap. <laughs> Middle, full humbucker. Middle, coil tap. Neck, full humbucker. We're going to stay on the neck, full humbucker, and I'm going to switch to a more crunch um, channel. Uh, all this is running through my Headrush MX-5. So here is the test with a little bit of crunch on the neck pickup, full humbucker. <laughs> okay. I'm going to coil tap that. Just so you know, this is a lot hotter than the pickups in my Strandberg, so uh, it is normally a crunch setting, but this seems to be picking up a little bit more um, higher gain. So here is the neck pickup coil tapped. <laughs>
Okay, this is the middle coil tapped. Bridge, full humbucker. Bridge coil tapped. All right. Well, there we have it. That is a tone test as well as an action measurement and a fret buzz test on a PRS CE24 uh, SE. Again, these came out roughly a week from making this video. Um, I purchased this one from Sweetwater. They do a 55 point inspection. A lot of people think that that's some sort of setup, but it's actually just making sure that everything is within spec of whatever the manufacturer wants it. Um, and then if they have any defects or anything, they usually put them uh, discounted. So um, keep that in mind. What's nice about Sweetwater though is they do take pictures of the guitars and weigh them. I'm not sponsored by Sweetwater. I'm not big enough chance to be sponsored by anybody. So this guitar uh, came out of my own pocket uh, to try it out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment on your thoughts about the guitar. If you have any ideas for how I can make my uh, videos better in the future, please leave those down below as well. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.